I said you stood up for women with this pressure of the pre Bo baby body yeah. thing. You went on Instagram. I did. Uh, you were, was, <laughs> right after the baby, you said, I did it my way and in my time. Many women feel the need to snap back right away after they deliver. Yeah. That was never the goal for me. Yeah. You had had it. I did. You know, I, I, I really feel that it's a shame that people just tend to bully women. I call it bullying. Um, especially after they've brought a beautiful child into this world. Yeah. Um, women are vulnerable after they have their baby. You know, you're going through hormonal changes, just emotionally, postpartum depression. You're going through just adjusting, having this baby at home, you're sleep deprived. Yeah. And then you have people not being kind about the weight that you've gained after- That you're supposed to that gain. That you're supposed to gain <laughs> after you know, having having a baby, and I think I'm so passionate about it because I understand what bullying does to the psyche. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are children out there that are committing suicide yeah. because of words. Yeah. And so I, you know, I just, I, I have no time for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, have no I have no time, time for it. Anybody got time it. for that? Because you need to save time for you, your children, mm -hmm. your husband. And I, it's interesting because I said, you know, balancing it all, it's a question that's often asked of me. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't balance this. I was no. in the corner crying the day before. I yes. called my mother and said, Mom, I need you to come here and help me. Yeah. I can't do it. It's okay to not be perfect. And mm. I think we live in a society that just pushes everyone to just snap back, be perfect. Yeah. And it's not easy being a mom and being a working mom. And you doing, you are doing an incredible no, job. No, 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 you don't no, see the behind really the scenes. No, no but I mean, look at How have you balanced it also with being a wife? We had Rev Run of uh, Run DMC fame and, and his wife, Justine, they have a book called Old School Love. Oh, OK. And they were saying, you know, really, you have to put each other first because the, one day the kids are going to be gone. And, yes. it, and their kids are older, so I thought, it's easy to say that now, Rev, because your kids are 20 years old. Yeah, no, it's important. You have a little one yeah. in the house yeah. who is like, it's all about me. No, yeah, definitely. I mean, even even my son, he's, you know, he's eight and he, he still wants mommy and daddy's yeah. attention. But I think it's very important that you know, when you are in a union or a marriage and you have children, that you keep that relationship strong. Like my husband and I, we have, there we are, we have date nights like once a week. Oh, you do? Yes, even if it's at, even if it's at home. You know what right. I mean? Like I make him dinner or he makes me dinner. Do you make the announcement? Because that's the thing I struggle with. I didn't know. I said, am I supposed to make I a date think, night? Because I think does that should. make it too orchestrated? No, I think you should. Especially, really? I mean, you're, you're a working mom. Yeah. You have a schedule, right? I think it's okay to schedule it in there because then you know that it's gonna happen. You know, the coolest thing about the cast of Sister Sister is we've all stayed in contact with well, each other. Well, one you're related to, so you have no yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be bad, that right? That would be terrible. No, yeah. Headline uh, news. Yeah. Um, no, but Jack Gay and Tim, even Marcus Houston, I just oh. talked to Marcus like last week. So we we all still communicate that with one my another. Heart. And, and it, it's it's a family, you know, when you've been on a television show for so long. Would you reboot it? Is it? Yeah. You know, so many people are asking this well, question. Well, that's because we love the show. It's I know. Point. We tried. And we tried to do it, but some rights and stuff kind of got in the way. Just the legalities as well. Legal yes, legal legalities. Yes, legalities. Um, is yeah, is is why, and you what? know, it makes me sad. And then also, we even tried to reboot the game, and that's now not happening. What? I don't think. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just think okay. that reboots are just not in my. No, DNA, no, okay. I, guess. <laughs> I mean. I know, we tried. Just women in general, we tend to just focus on everybody else. Are our kids okay? Are, are, is, is, our, is our husband okay? You know, but how can you be the best CEO, the best entrepreneur, the best mom, sister? The list goes on and on if you don't take care of yourself. Yeah. So the tagline is you are the answer. You are the answer. In, insinuating basically that you are the only one that can right. do that. You are yes. the only one that can take care of you. So thank you so much. I love it.